filmmaker George Lucas. Wait, for what? Uh, now what? we've uh, en ended the regular show. And we are, uh, we're in the, uh, the part of the show that comes uh, after the regular show. We're in what we call the, the after show. The after show is like sassy, right? I mean, this is when things get unbuttoned. For the record, I will read it verbatim. In the private chat, George Lucas, retired filmmaker George Lucas, typed at 10.06 p.m. Eastern Time. Wiggle your butt to camera and say, here's my rebuttal, Patrick. I read it as, wiggle your butt to camera and say, here's my rebuttal, Patrick. Like you were saying that whole thing. So I assumed it was no. Tawato. No. Sorry. No. What? What? I guess. I guess. This has yeah, never happened. This is the first time this has ever happened. Do they know it's the after show? Do they have any I idea think they, they do they now. Do they know that the after show is where things get unbuttoned? That's what this is. Yeah. Yes. Can you hear me? There's an echo. Oh, now the echo is gone. Of course, once Watto says it, the echo is gone. The guest says, I can hear you, Watto. <laughs> guest, I need you to type out your introduction. I said a little matzo bar superb. Your introduction so I can bring you on to the after show. Now, judging by your display name in the chat, I don't think you will get this, but I'll try the reference on you anyway. <laughs> your introduction can be a little sincere, a little funny, or a little bit of both, like Barry Levinson's Avalon. <laughs> and I feel I I worry it's just going to go <laughs> right over this guest head. I hope it's a good intro. I hope it's a great I intro. I can't. I, yeah, I don't think you should hope it's only good. I think you should hope for the best natural, Patrick. You're really... I just... Patrick... I'm new, yeah. When you shave your beard... If. If you shave your beard, because I know you tend to go whole hog and shave the beard and the head and all of the things. Can, can you do it in stages so we can get the clean picture of you with this hair but without the beard that I can Photoshop into my John Arbuckle live action pitch deck. Uh huh. I will say and this. I think if I was to do it, I will be shortening the beard, leaving the hair and getting an actual haircut. I think that's the plan. God damn it. Well, on that note, that real bummer of a note, I want to Sorry. say our next guest, who knows what George is setting up here. Our next guest is a little bit funny. And a little bit sincere. He's Barry Levinson's Avery Lawn. Girl Grows and Girl Grows, please welcome to the George Lucas talk show, Avery Manson! Hi, guys. The, the Hi. aforementioned. Oh, the aforementioned. Wow. The aforementioned. Guys. Avery. Has anyone ever called you Avery the aforementioned? I don't, I don't think that they have. I'm not sure that they ever have. It I'm feels good, though. Yeah, I'm glad. How are you um, doing? I'm doing fine. There's a. I feel like there's a weird energy in in this show. I feel, I I uh, I love Adam Conover. I think he's one of the kindest men that mm -hmm. I know. I I like him a lot personally. The show had a weird, a uh, the combat a combative vibe a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. Is that fair and to say? No, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> so are you here to continue that or to change that? I want I um I guess we'll s I guess I can see what happens. See what okay. feels right. Here's my question. Here's my question. Yeah. Have you seen Ted Lasso? I have seen Ted Lasso. I I like Ted Lasso okay. I don't think that I have a hot take 
either way. I, I don't, I didn't love Ted Lasso, but I also, I didn't, I didn't dislike Ted Lasso. I liked it just yeah. fine. Okay. Coming in with lukewarm takes. No, that's okay. My, I think it's just a mild take, but some people don't yeah. like a spicy take. They like a mild take. I did think, I mean, I think that's something that, that Adam said was true. It's that it, it, it was sort of interesting that in, in most comedies, a lot of the jokes come from someone saying something in a funny way or saying something funny accidentally, right? Right. They in use, they have di it's like diegetic uh, comedy. Yes. Diegetic. Uh, in Ted Lasso, I would say 90% of the jokes are someone actively making a joke. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And but if you don't they say, be active, do we want passive comedy in the 21st <laughs> century? Yeah, I guess you're right. It just, it I is, think that's what Adam was thinking too entertaining to me, watch a show where people passively make jokes. Right. Here's my question, and I wanted to say this during the show, but by the time I was able to hop in, it felt like we'd already moved past it. I have never thought of the fact that people in the show are not laughing at jokes. I've never, that's like never even like crossed through my mind, but now that I'm thinking about it, it's very weird. Because if there you were time. with someone who said something funny, you would laugh. Yeah. Patrick, right? it depends. Patrick, I will say it makes perfect sense that Patrick Kotner, on camera <laughs> producer of the George Lucas talk show, never stops to consider whether people are laughing at the things that people say during a TV show. <laughs> oh boy. I've never thought about it. Thought oh about it. Um, but it depends what the source of the comedy is because a lot of comedy is things that aren't funny uh, yes. in world, but right. are funny to us because we're watching them. Right. The epic fail. <laughs> yeah, like, like let's say you're watching you're watching a comedy. Nobody <laughs> participating. Nobody participating in World War II is just ha ha ha. This war is funny, right? Mm. But it's funny to us because we're watching the the mayhem. Right, mm -hmm. and we're the watching epic the chaos. Yes, a true you know? epic fail. Um, George, what what are you doing in the background? I'm yeah. watching the Caravan of Courage. Oh, George, boy. You can't show that. You can't what do you mean? You, you didn't even know what it was I was watching. Yeah, but now that we do, now that you've said it, we can't show it. <laughs> Here's what you can do, George. Here's what you can do. Face it a little bit more towards yourself. That's so selfish. That's I think if it's crazy. far, if it's far back and faced a little bit more towards you, you can show it. Wow, wow, classic Patrick. Avery, what'd you do today? Um, I uh, i i got some uh, i got some can i got some Easter candies. Yeah. Um, Cheap. i i have been eating them. Over the course of, of watching the the the, the show, mm -hmm. um, and I'm I'm gonna make myself sick. I have a feeling. Now, now, Avery, I have multiple follow up questions. Can you okay, hold great. that bag up to camera again? Are they egg shaped, mini egg shaped Reese's? Exactly, perfect. That's right. Okay, okay. Is Bryce in here? Bryce, and get in here. Bryce, get in here. Bryce, and get in here. I guess Bryce is not here. No, hey, Bryce. Hey, hi, Bryce. Hey, Bryce. Nice to meet you. Uh, sorry, so, proud member of the Super Secret Secret Club. Hey, well, hey, hey, we're going to talk about that. Trust me, we're <laughs> going to talk about that. But Bryson, as a fellow peanut butter connoisseur, your ears must have been burning. Bryson and I have talked many times off camera about our love of holiday themed Reese's shapes. Well, my my favorite is not necessarily a holiday shape, but a take five is what I get around with. Well, I know mm -hmm. that's your favorite, but you are also an appreciator of the holiday cups. Oh, ab absolutely, absolutely. Right, and that in fact somehow they taste better than the pure cup, and I think the eggs are the best of all holiday Reese shapes. Now, Avery. Yeah, I, and I, I want to hear your opinion if you have a consenting opinion. If you have a rebuttal, we will hear your rebuttal. But I'm curious because I will say I, Wato, have been looking forward to tomorrow, the day after Easter, going and raiding the Reese's section. I wonder what kind of discounts you saw today buying day of. 
uh, yeah, I don't think. Let me sit. Let me look at my at my Vaughn's coupon. Yeah, because I noticed the last week I went to a couple Dwayne Reeds. And I saw that they were already 25% off. And I went, mm, tempting, but just sit on it for one week, Watto. Yeah. You were you you did like the, the marshmallow experiment. Do you yes. know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think they put the marshmallow in front of the kid. Wait a second. The oh, marshmallow little boy. The marshmallow test. Right. While you're while you're looking this up and you have mentioned marshmallow, I'm gonna go get something. <sighs> All right. See you, Watto. Has anybody, I mean, this is more so for Wada, I suppose, but has anybody heard about the direct from the factory Reese's that they were putting out? No. Somebody, one, I think a Porgy posted about it uh, on social media. They sell regular Reese's and then they sell up, like upcharge direct from the factory Reese's. And on the packaging, it says you can expect a little more oil. <laughs> wow. And that's a, po <laughs> that's a positive? It's supposed to be like that they're not just sitting around at the factories for a bunch of time. I don't know. Or is that a sticker that goes on top of it, or is it printed into the graphic design of the package? There's yes. going to be more oil in this one. Watto, have you or heard about it, the direct from the factory? It, or is it stamped on the Reese's peanut butter cup itself? Like a little. I believe. Now I believe oil. our friend, our Georgie Porgy friend, LED Light, is the yes, one who got you. them. It right. was her. If she wants to weigh in with answers, I'd love to hear them. Also, well, I thought I had marshmallow Reese's, but I ran out of those. I'm going to eat pink Reese's Valentine's. I'm down to my final batch of Valentine's Reese's getting ready for the big Easter splurge. Tomorrow. I'm worried about my friend Watto tomorrow. You're worried Not about true. what your friend Watto is going to get up to with the discount Easter candy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not to bring up the G word again, but uh, I'm surprised the U.S. government hasn't invaded the Reese's factory to get their hands on more of that oil. Sold out! <laughs> Sold out, baby. George, that was a good joke, George. Well, that's a Manifest Destiny joke. <laughs> yeah. Sold out. Sold out. Here we go. Is there a possibility we could get a we could get an Oops All Oil? <laughs> Just Maybe. a cup full of oil? Yeah, a cup yeah. full of Reese's oil. oil. There you go. I signed up. I'll let you know when we get an email about it. Wow. Yeah. Can I can I also just say I just noticed in the private chat at 12 14 p.m. before we asked, <laughs> Bryson says, George, what are you screening? And then two minutes later, Jersey <laughs> Dave types. Why do you do this to us? And can I just on a production side of things, can I just say I think we need to never show any more duck tits on the show. I think that's Woo! a problem. Wow. Is it about, about free the nipple. Free the nipple. Free the nipple, Bryson. <laughs> it's been you, so Bryson. good talking to you, Bryson. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> I'm just saying for uh, blame Twitch. Blame Twitch. A woo. -woo. Blame. Bye bye, Bryson. <laughs> See, I think the hearts are the second best shape. I think the egg is the best because it actually gives you the most Reese's, right? It is the That's shape. Right. It is rounded. It's, yeah. you know, on top. It's oval. It's, yeah. it's got more sort of circumference to it. The hearts come close. It is interesting. I had thought mistakenly that the pink in the pink Reese's hearts was marshmallow. It's, in fact, white chocolate dyed pink. Oh, just, the visual of that is odd. Yeah, right? I care for that. Um, it's good though. <laughs> the direct from the factory box are apparently twenty nine ninety nine. It's two and a half pounds of Reese's peanut butter cups, and <laughs> bestproducts dot com says you haven't lived until you've had this forty five single cups. Is what they tell you. So I, I found my I found my receipt and it doesn't say what the discount was. So it's possible there was no discount. Maybe the, not. The, this this bag, which was ten point eight ounces, was four dollars and ninety nine cents. Mm -hmm. Sure. Can maybe somebody in the chat figure out what like how much of a better deal Patrick's big box is? 
I, yes, we can do this research, but I want to say the chat is demanding and I think we should accept LED light is set up and willing to come on the stream. She has straight from the factory Reese's still unopened. Okay, I'll email. Tell her I'll email her. Hang on one second. Okay. Yeah. Um, I do, and maybe this is conspiratorial of me, but I do have a theory about where uh, where all those uh, Reese's went. I mean, George, George I would love it. to hear that theory. You know who I think has them? Wh whom? <laughs> Witherspoon. Hmm. Tell me how I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> so Avery, did you do anything? I just feel like you, you you realize that you're you've walked into a trap. Mm -hmm. You feel you like, you, like you sound like Akbar. <laughs> you sound like first take Akbar. Yeah. <laughs> let's do another. Let's back to one. Suddenly you <laughs> feel like you've walked into life. a trap. Yeah, it, it was a trap. I didn't realize it for a while, but it yeah. was a trap. This is not, Akbar, this is not your fault. It, it, it feels like uh, this Charlie Rose type situation. Just say it's a trap. <laughs> how, how long was he talking to us and setting us up just to say weather's pole? Hang on, Admiral Akbar, can I just hear you say, I am not a crook? <laughs> it's just dangerous. Oh, it's a trap. I am not a crook. <laughs> it's the same. Can we get that clean? Can we get that clean? Yeah, no, we'll get that clean. Oh, get that yeah clean. hang on. Can we get that? Oh, Wait, oh, hang on one second. Wait, one second. Hold on. We want to get that clean. We got to get it clean. <laughs> Can we get that clean? I am not a crook. Let me do it one more time. Sorry. I am not a crook. That was it. Hang on, Avery, can I give you a, do you mind if I give you a line reading or a note? Not a line reading, more of a note. I don't know. If you've got an idea, I'll take it. Can you try it with a little bit of stank on it? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'll give it some stank. Thanks. I am not a crook. <laughs> All right. Uh, can, we get, can I get it? No stank, but an alt? Sure. Because I want to do this, and and people can uh, do fan art of this. <laughs> All right, full screen, full this screen. Is, is uh, alt, no, but no stank. Alt with no stank. Okay. I am not a cookie. Oh, interesting. And then a scream. Ah, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's it. The line is, I am not a cookie, and then scream. It hurts. It hurts. Yeah. Say, okay. I am not a cookie, and then like you're being eaten. Go. Ah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I am not a cookie. Ah, ah it hurts. It hurts. Great. Uh, now, Avery, can I get an alt quickly? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. I I want to, uh, uh, if you have a pen and paper, if you want to take this down. I would, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah. I'll write it down. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Uh, the alt is uh, I am, maybe italicized am. Got it? I I am a Pazuki. <laughs> Available at all BJ's brew house locations. BJ's brew houses, sure. Right. Uh yeah, all right. I am a Pazuki. Well, hold on, let's get it clean. Let's get it. Oh, oh no, you were just reading. I just, back. I just want to check to make sure I have the line right. Okay. I am a Pazuki. Available at all BJ's brew houses. Look, let's say brew house locations. Brew house locations. Can we get that clean? I am a Pazuki available at all BJ's brew house locations. Ah, it hurts. It hurt. I try I was trying to make it my own at the end there. No, it's fine. Was... It's fine. It's fine. We just we at BJ's don't want people to think that the Pazuki is in pain. So <laughs> let's get that sure. that kind of read the same first half and then the second half 
more like the Pazuki likes being eaten. <laughs> oh, so I, I still am being eaten, but I, yeah. but I like it now. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. Like it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can we get that clean? I am a Pazuki, available at all BJ Brewhouse locations. Ah, I like it. Was that, that was it? Yeah, that was it. That was it, yeah. Now, now. What? Oh, hi. I got the bumper. Hi. Oh, hello. I would like so, hi. Yes, I know you'll never say LED. Nope. So, so this is this is what's well no it's not actually what's left they put them in like a thing here's a okay. here's a lot of Reese's. But wait, <laughs> let's let's go step by step. So we have okay. this this translucent plastic bag, but then let's see that label on the front. Oh, where's my camera? Okay, so yeah. it just says does it there does it mention the oil? Um, I was I did I was on the mailing list during quarantine. It was it said sold out, and I was having a bit of nostalgia last summer because we used to go to Hershey Park. So I was on the Hershey website <clears throat> fooling around, and I joined the mailing list. And then they didn't email me until like last month to be like, they're here. And I, I wasn't really in quarantine anymore, so it was weird that I was like, oh, am I still gonna make this weird purchase? Uh -huh. um, yeah. and, you and did. I did. Yes, and um, okay. So, and, so the individual fact, wrappers here on the straight from the factory do not have anything on them to connote that they are straight from the factory. They do not. And and I believe Avery also asked, "Is there anything on the label on the bigger bag that mentions the extra oil?" <laughs> <laughs> um. Wait, there was an insert. Ah, uh, shit! I was cleaning and, my room. Hold an on. Oil insert. <laughs> it wasn't oily. Hang on one second. This, uh, I mean, this about, is thrilling. No, no, Patrick. Let's not talk yeah. about anything else. This is thrilling. I'm on the edge of my seat here. <laughs> yeah, there's okay. a cat. He's secretly been back there. Yeah. Um, oh, I love your shirt, Lead Light. Yes, I, I switched at the prospect of being No, it's another it. bring the noise shirt. The tongue was a muscle. It's what you use to eat Reese's. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got you got this. It says direct from the factory. Oh shit, I'm so bad at your mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and then it's it's got the whole thing. And can you read it quick to us? It's, it's not very quick. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we can take the time to read it, but we should get this clean, right? Get it clean. I would imagine. So I'd feel bad if we didn't, right? Um, we don't want to get it dirty. <laughs> Can we get that clean? Jesus. It says, our team of over 700 fellow Reese's plant team members are committed to delivering you the quality Reese's peanut butter cups that you can be hashtag not sorry about. Our production lines have the capability of producing 25 million Reese's peanut butter cups per day, and we know our loyal brand fans want to savor each and every one of them. From Nicole Henderson, plant manager. Wow. Is that the real autograph or printed? Is that clean? <laughs> yeah, that was, no, it's very clean. Very clean. Is, oh, it, you're muted. I can't hear you. Oh, sorry. It oh, was. I can't hear the, any it, of you right now. What? What about me? Can you hear me? <laughs> Sorry. What do I do? I can hear you, George. You can hear me? Yeah. Those, can you hear me? Those people who knock those towers down. Those down, down all the those knock I cannot hear down. anybody. Hear all the Hold on. Light light. Can you hear me? Can you hear I me? I can hear you. I, I, can, I can hear, hear everyone. Can, can, hear me, can, can you hear me? George, okay. can you hear me? I'm gonna George? Me. Patrick, can you hear George? I can hear George. George. Can you hear me, Avery? Yeah. George, I can, hear. can you hear Avery? She's Hold on. George, can you hear me? Can Lotto? you hear the Ewok movie? No. <laughs> no. A little bit, maybe. A little bit? You got to turn it up. I can't hear it very well. There I am. Sorry. Yeah, about we can that. hear it now. Can you hear I can hear you. Can you Every hear the Ewok ever... movie, Lud Light? Um, am I contractually allowed to say that, or will George get in trouble? No, you can. 
Okay. I can hear it. It's delightful. Great. They pulled George from the stream, not me. Okay. So, uh, Lotta, what were you asking? I was asking. I was asking. Does it appear from the insert that that is hand autograph, <laughs> or is that a printed signature? Ah, mm. uh, it's it's definitely printed. Really? Oh, yeah. Really? The call is it's this. Yeah. You hate to see it. Call. Direct from the printer. I I call that. Yeah. Up in her ivory <laughs> tower, can't be bothered to sign the Reese's insert. His fragile <laughs> little hand. No way. <laughs> Do they happen to have a phone number on that insert? Uh, they don't. Um, there's there's a General Hershey's questions or comments. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Let's that's get right. some fan art of General Hershey. <laughs> his um, name is General Hershey. Is his first name and his last name is questions or comments. Yeah. <laughs> would you like the, would you like the number? Am I allowed to dox the Hershey company? That's yeah, you can dox it. They're, they're public. Yeah, yeah. it's a one eight hundred four six eight one seven one four. You got phone go. number in my Twitch show. You got Twitch show in my phone number. <laughs> Two great tastes that taste but, great together. But the thing is, like, I've had them now in my house for like a week, so they've gotten progressively like less oily. They're not For English, oil. press one. Para español, oprima We're sorry, we can't take your call right now. Mm. Let's get. Uh, let's get. The to... comment uh, interrupted. Uh, LED light yeah. was talking about the oil content. They, they Classic tenant racket. Let's get full screen on the Reese's. <laughs> full screeny Reese. There you go. This one. Oh, it's got like a fuzz on it. Oh, oh there's fuzz on it. it. <laughs> Oh, no. oh no! It's good. No, I think it's because of that. It was exposed. Those are the hairs of General Hirsch. Get <laughs> <laughs> that one out. Yeah, no, they 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 gotten progressively less oily because they've been. Oh no, this one's super. There we go. That one's like shiny. Oily. Wow. Ooh, yeah. some of those Reeses got the shine. <laughs> They're shining. So wait, can we see you take a bite? Greasy, yeah. greasy. Wow. <laughs> there we go. And let, let's get the cross section. Let's see what the cross is. That's a lot there of peanut go. butter. That feels it like is. more peanut butter than it would normally be. It's moderately like, yeah, it's, it's a little bit more to yeah. the edge. And it's, mm. Yeah, I mean, it's not worth the upcharge is the conclusion of all this. But for curiosity's sake, it was it was pretty good. Well, well I have a question, and I don't, I don't want this to feel like an attack. Do you, do you think that that fuzz that was on there came from the factory or no. is that grown in factory fuzz? No, I've been I've been cleaning my room today. There's a lot of dust. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. Okay. Can yeah, I that do was an probably probably I, no, sorry. Uh can I do an impression quickly because we let Avery do his uh Yeah, of course why not. President uh yes. Uh, Admiral Ak Milhouse Akbar impression. I'd like to do an impression quickly. Yeah, but hang on, Watto, don't do it while any of us are talking. Why? Can we get that clean? That's my impression of Reese with a spoon. <laughs> Bryson now plays the Ewok movie. <laughs> Um, we earned it. We earned it. So, so like, do you don't think it's worth the upcharge? But do you think people should at least give it a try? I mean, if you have the chance and you're very yeah. into Reese's, you, maybe. Okay. Yeah, like if you if you put yourself on a mailing list and then they email you at a time where you're just sort of like very bored, they might yeah. be able to get you. Yeah. If there's forty nine of them and it costs thirty dollars, it's about sixty cents a Reese's. I don't know how much. Oh. That's, there's not 49 of them because it says 
it says serving size two pieces, but then it says 37 servings per container. So that's like mm. 74. Oh, right. So is that's that, not is an upcharge. Is it? I don't know. Wait, I so how many did you get? I, 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 on, I have not been counting. There is a significant amount gone at this point. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, wow. Well, thank you for telling us about all this. No problem. Can I show the chat my cat because I've they kind of, yeah, of is that okay? Yeah. Hold on. Very yes, quickly. no, a, a cat for the chat is fine. <laughs> um, Avery, I want to know about this uh, uh, painting behind you. Um, uh, yeah, I just know. realized his name's his name's Rebel. So there we go. It's it's Star hey. Wars theme. All right, look at that. Look at that cat. Right. Cats for chats. Yeah. Cats for chats. There we go. No, yeah, cats for the cats. A cat for the chat. Thank you, oh, Love Live. Chats is my Thank you. Fears cover band. Oh, and he's gonna take down the iPad. There it goes. There you go. Whoa! Right. No blood that was oil. almost. That was almost like a uh, an organic, practical wipe at it, George. It was great. <laughs> yeah. So I want to talk about this painting. What's in this painting? Yeah. Oh, there's almost awesome. nothing to say about it. I got it at a at a goodwill. Let me take it down. Yeah. Avery, you feel it. like. You feel What's like a guy frame? who's very good at finding things like this. What is that frame made of? Uh, it's a it's a strong wood. I actually like. I think the frame is better than the painting itself. Wow. I just want to get a different painting so, to put inside the frame. So we are yeah. looking at Fernwood tonight. Oh boy! <laughs> no. Oh boy! George, oh, you so George, you should have Martin mold that uh, pun over before you said it. Oh. This from the creator of Scaredy Duck. <laughs> um, Avery, you you are, in my eyes, one one of the most multi talented people. You you are good at so many things. I mean, truly, not just there are many people who try to do a lot of things, but I feel like you are supremely skilled. At, at many different things. You are an excellent visual artist, as shown by the book, yeah, I Am the Longest Dog, there. which you also wrote. Yeah, I wrote, I wrote that. That's a brilliant book. What I wrote uh, that is. And that came out recently, right? Yeah, just, just like this last month. This is your newest release. It's my yeah. newest release. Um, people no, should get it because no, everything no is put out. No child, or if you have a child, they, they'll, they'll enjoy it. You made it. Disney. Disney. The mouse got you. You got a mouse book. Yeah. You got the a mouse, mouse book. Got you. Are there any mice in that book? Um, I don't think there are. Actually, can I tell you something that's a little bit convoluted about uh, Disney and this book? We so, do convoluted things on this show, Avery. And as a warning, it's going to be a it's a it's a long walk, and there's not yeah. a lot of payoff at the end. Okay, okay? Billy that's, that's our from stock the, in the, trade, baby. Absolutely. Um, so the the book um, I I sold two books to Disney, and mm -hmm. then a couple months ago there was some sort of the mouse you got it, mm -hmm. and then there was some sort of corporate reshuffling where mm. Disney sold thousands of upcoming titles. To Little Brown Books. Hmm. So Little Brown Books is actually the publisher of that book, not Disney. But it was so close to the publish uh, the publication date that they hmm. couldn't get that off it. So it's like this weird thing where it says it's published by Disney, but it's not. Uh, but you can say that. What? You can say that forever. You're like, hey, this is a I'm Disney book. Kidding. That's right. That. Uh, but it kind of makes me wonder if Little Brown is not publicizing it as much because it doesn't have their name on it. Do you know what I mean? Right. Well, mm -hmm. there are these little brown spots all over the longest dog. Is that a subtle reference? <laughs> yeah, those are little those are the little browns. Little browns. <laughs> but someone just mentioned this in the chat, but this is the thing it makes me think of Marvin Hamlish 517. I, I I just always find this fascinating. The first Marvel movies, the Marvel Studio movies, they Talk to you guys in a little bit. They had the distribution deal with Paramount, right? They were self-financed, and Paramount had the distribution deal for, I think, six movies in total. And the last two films in that deal were supposed to be uh, The Avengers and Iron Man 3. And then Disney bought Marvel right before 
Thor and Captain America came out, right when they were getting ready to make Iron Man 3 and Avengers. And Disney could have let Paramount have those last two movies. But they were like, no, we want to be all in on the on the Marvel business. Can we pay you, like, I think it was $500 million for those two movies. And Paramount said yes. But their one condition was that the Paramount logo still has to be in front of the movie. And so then Avengers ends up being like, the second highest grossing film of all time. It makes a billion dollars. Paramount lost a bunch of money in the shuffle. How do you think the guy feels who was like, that I got the, the logo there? We didn't make any money off of it, but when people see it, they think it's a Paramount movie. <laughs> He's back. He's I'm back. back. Look who's I'm back. back. Sorry. Um, yeah. yeah. Avery, I was watching a, a compilation of your vines today on YouTube. Great. I'm just remembering, remembering those good old days. Rest in peace, huh? Patrick, Rest in why peace. Don't you go to, no, why vines are sort of like bumpers. Vines were like the original bumper, is it? The original bumper. Bryson, get uh, in Bryson, here. Bryson, get in here. Bryson, get Bryson. in here. Bryson. 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 All you, vines, baby. Have you seen any of Avery's vine archives? I wasn't a big Vine person, and I'm not a big Vine compilationer, so I, I'm not wow. familiar. You got, to you, you got to brush up. You have to learn from the master, Bryce, and you could take a few pointers from Avery. Oh, I mean, I absolutely should just start uh, uh, copping all of Avery's style because that's it's so good. Uh, Bryson, I'm, we're going to take you off, but I want you to go watch the Avery Vine compilation and then come back. And okay. tell us come back when gonna... you watch the compilation. And can okay. we get a yeah. bumper for when you come back saying, uh, Bryson on the vines, and it's you hanging on some vines. Yeah. I, I can't do both, is the thing. <laughs> yes, Unless... you can. You'll just come back later. Can we get yeah. a bumper? Bye, bye, Bryson. <laughs> Bryson, if you can hear me, I also want a bumper that's, I can't do both. <laughs> um... Uh, now, now, Avery, now you are, you, but you're on TikTok. I just recently got on TikTok. Yeah, I had resisted it for quite some time, and I just recently got on TikTok. Are you now? Some of it is classic Vine material that you've ported over to TikTok, right? Well, yeah. I uh, the thing about Vines is that they were only 480 pixels wide, and they were uh, square. So it's yeah. not good to just when you when you just upload those to TikTok, they look like shit. Right. Uh, so a couple of them I tried to sort of remake with high definition, um, and it it uh, they didn't they didn't do as well on TikTok as they did on Vine, unfortunately. Yeah. Are you going to make some new exclusive TikToks? Yeah, I'll make some exclusive. Sure. Yeah. Some exclusive. Because we, I also want to promote because I. Uh, the George Lucas talk show Vine. I've uh, been making a lot of Vine this week. You've been making TikTok. some great Vines. Yeah. TikToks, George. Vine is dead. Oh, TikTok. 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 I've been making a lot of Vines, but I make them on TikTok. <laughs> um, <clears throat> hey, what is Bobby Moynihan just liked uh, one of uh, the George Lucas talk show's TikToks. That's great. That's great, George. Congrats. That's huge. It's big. Um, it's a big deal. Avery, what was the hardest vine to make wait a second patrick what put down that tennis racket george was clearly getting ready to show us the new tiktok he made oh, but i thought it was going to take him a second to get it up it seemed like it was there was a lull in conversation and i felt like someone you, had you to thought it was going to take it, uh, him a second to get it up hey come on george is old but he's not that old i'm not dead Look at look at these little friends. Look at I can't play. I don't want to play the audio because. Bryson Can you sing it? Me. What? Can you sing the audio? Uh, I'm a hot knife. He's a pat of butter. Yeah. It's Fiona okay. Apple. Cool. Show us the other one. The other ones? Yeah. Well, they, they work better with the music. Yeah, but this you can sing does. the other one. 
I'm like a bird. I want to fly away. I don't know where my soul is. I don't know where my hole is. That's from uh, the Ewok movie, and she turns into a bird and flies away. I, it is I, funny that you found a way to get around showing Ewok movie footage on the stream. I <laughs> resent that I have to do this, but I think we are left with no other choice. What? Bryson, get in here. Bryson. Yeah, I brought up the Vine compilations. Bryson, I'm glad you found the Vine compilations. I hope you enjoy watching them. They're a real treat. Avery, one of the best to ever do it on Vine. Yeah. You, you have brought it to our attention that you cannot do the Bryson on a Vine bumper because the bumper factory has technically yet to open. Mm. You... On the vine or on a vine? Both. <laughs> That's what you get for asking, Bryson. <laughs> bye bye, Bryson. Ask a question like that, you're going to get assigned another bump. <laughs> Which uh, guy? multiple ideas should I do? All of the above. And that wow. guy, Bryson, I got to tell you, he was really cruising for two bumpers there. <laughs> yeah. uh, a couple of things. A couple of things I want to say to our listeners uh, and our viewers is uh, that uh, we want you to follow uh, George Lucas Talk Show on, on TikTok. But oh, yeah. also, Ewok was trending really hard on Friday because the Ewok movies and the Ewoks animated show and... Uh, there's a whole new vintage Star Wars section that de debuted on Disney Plus on Friday, which is very good news because this is stuff that people have been begging to. Uh... Oh, someone said, George, I'm not making a TikTok account. I'm sorry. Yes, you are. Please make one. Please, I beg you. <laughs> Follow Avery Monson on there also. Please, he yeah. hen Hendo Bendo. Please. Hendo Bendo. Please. Hendo Bendo, please. I'm begging Hendo you. Hendo Bendo, you're my only hope. Your only hope. Please. Um, <laughs> Um, okay, fine, maybe. Please, please. Oh, it's all I want in the world. Um, the go if you can, if you're on um, Instagram, anything that you can put a trending hashtag, just pictures of Ewoks and just the word Ewok, hashtag Ewok. I really just as many tweets as you can with the word Ewok. There's also <laughs> if you want to respond to the uh, G Lucas talk show, there's a long thread of people just responding with the word Ewok. If you tweet at G Lucas Talk Show with the word Ewok or hashtag Ewok, we will respond uh, to that thread. There may be, uh, try to respond to the most recent person did. Let's get a really long thread of just the word Ewok. We want Ewok to remain a, uh, and also if you could tweet at Disney Plus, nice things, like don't make it a, a form letter because we don't want to feel like it's bots. Just tweet at Disney Plus. Thank you so much for these Ewok movies. This is the thing I like, or I'm so happy now. My family feels better. Um, just nice no, things. I, like, I, I yeah. think you had that right the first time, George. What they should tweet is, this is the thing I like. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and things like, uh, I'm telling all my friends to subscribe to Disney Plus now, all because of this, the thing I like. Huh. This is the thing I like. Yeah. It's then... such a good line reading. Oh. Now, this is from our friend Ish. We just got Ooh. this in. I have not watched it, so I don't this know is what it is. A world premiere. A world premiere. This is an Ish exclusive. <laughs> I am not a cookie. I mean, that's great. I need to talk about a little twist. Talk about a little twist. <laughs> uh, well, I want to give positive okay. reinforcement because I think it's really great. They finally put the, and they're going to put droids on there later this year. And the detours is surely just around the corner. It's surely yeah. just around the bend. I hope so. Avery, what hey, was your George? hard fun to make? I want to go back to this point. 
from earlier. What's, what's, what, was what's your that hard, what was your hardest vine? What was the most difficult vine you worked on? Right, like uh, a lot of your cool. vines were like magic tricks. They were these yeah, a lot, of, a lot of little magic. Tricks. Seemed, right, they You're seemed good magic. simple and normal, and often there was a little twist at Great the end man. of it where you went, "Wait a second, how did he do that?" Mm-hmm. I made I made one where I was I was in quicksand and I was I was like drowning and and then it sort of looked like I was gonna I was gonna reach to try to like grab something but then I was just grabbing some sunglasses and putting on the sunglasses and then continuing to sink mm-hmm. uh, and and the way that I did it was I I built this uh, th- this little board with a head hole and some and some foliage in my small queens apartment i live in los angeles now but i lived in queens at the time and uh just dumped a bunch of sand on this thing uh and then there was just sand in my apartment for for weeks after that. <laughs> it was dreadful see this is the thing about you this is the thing that has always made me such a big fan of your work is i look at anything you've done be it the big project or a six second video and i go man he puts a lot of work into all of it <laughs> like nothing you've done has ever to my eyes felt kind of tossed off that's and, right and, and part of the comedy is man that's a lot of work to put into this that's but right also just impressive like genuinely impressive on a technical level do you do you mind if i show my favorite one go for it Yeah, okay, the, I was going to ask about this. I mean, it's... I, yeah, it's just... Is it, was it very, was it very uh, uh, herky-jerky to everyone else, yes. or was it just on mine? I will say... I think that's... Sure. Could you say that you couldn't even tell what was happening? Correct. Okay. It's a Patrick okay. problem. It's yeah, a Patrick it looked, problem. It, it looked to me like the 1977 cut of A New Hope. <laughs> That's what happens sometimes when you share a screen of a video. You're walking down the street, you're saying it's a beautiful day, and then the camera turns and you say, I'm about to get hit by a car. A car comes up behind you and the video stops. Well, and you say the camera turns, but in this video, we are essentially seeing yeah. you in selfie mode, right? That's- it's the perspective. So as you step into the street and you turn around, we now see over your shoulder a car that is about to hit you. I mean, it really feels like it's a millisecond away from impact. I have watched this thing so many times. Yeah. I cannot figure out how you did this and are still alive. And Patrick fucked it up. Yeah. He really Avery, Avery, Where do I find that? Where do I find that out on YouTube? Hang on one second. Here's what we're going to do, guys. You ready for I this? Find it? Yeah. You ready for this? I just downloaded the video, and we are going to share it through this way, and hopefully it will be better. Now this is producing. And this is producing. (laughs) Is that better? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it's like the the 1978 re-release of A New Hope. (laughs) It's a little better. Have have you ever talked about how you did this, Avery, or have you maintained this secret? Um, I mean, it's not it's not especially interesting. With that, uh, let's hear it then. Let's hear it. <laughs> I love uninteresting. This is our, this okay, is, so Disney bought this is two books. Another another talk show. Hold on, hold on. Another talk show would say, "Oh, maybe maybe don't say it." We want to hear it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got nowhere to be. We got nowhere to be, guys. Let's talk yeah, about Lord. it. Uh, I I shot the thing in Astoria, Queens, walking in the street. There were no cars there. And then I put my phone on a stick and mm-hmm. filmed a, a, car, a, a parked car and then lifted the stick up pretty fast so there would be a change in perspective of the car. Because as as the car is coming towards you, it seemed like it would it would the perspective would change, right? Uh, and then I put it behind me with the computer. It look I I like that answer. That's I'm I'm watching it. I'm just rewinding and fast forwarding yeah. just a few seconds. It looks good. 
It's oh, just, so I mean, that's so it, it's a stationary car, but the camera is moving. It's a stationary car. That's right. Oh, you know, you know what it is. Yeah, George. It's like it's like a uh, an Imperial cruiser. It's the model work in the original Star Wars. That's exactly. So right. have, you, practical have you ever? Fact, but right. then, but then you inserted yourself. Then, Did no, you he just inserted no. the car. Yeah, I just, just I inserted, inserted the car. Behind it. You did a practical effect, but then inserted the car digitally. Yeah. Okay. People are saying they want to see it again, so we're going to watch it again. Hang on. Hang on. Patrick! Patrick, dear God. This is not my fault, guys. This is the website. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. I'm about to get hit by a car. I that was the, Patrick that was the worst there. time. That was actually <laughs> the worst time, Patrick. I can't we never saw the car. I came Here's in here to try to be a peacemaker because I saw that Adam Conover had made had made sort of a sort sort of an antagonistic vibe. He and ruined I everything. I can I share with you? Can I, I share with you? Really an can I share exclusive with you? Yeah. I I got a text from Adam. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and he said, "Incredibly fun?" Question mark. Thank you. <laughs> Then he said, sorry, I meant that to be a period, exclamation mark. And then he said, incredibly fun. And then he wrote the word period. <laughs> Another thing I'd like to address, uh, earlier uh, you said we could talk about the, how, first of all, I think that was very interesting hearing you talk about it. I'm hoping we'll, we'll take a look at the clip in a second. But you said we had nowhere to be. Yeah, yeah, and then Patrick, you, um, you yeah, said we have nowhere to be. We have nowhere to be, George. All right. You want me to uh, say it, George, just to help. No, 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 no. Actually, head. I just wanted to uh, just clear something up because uh, a friend of ours uh, uh, took it personally. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Avery, um, this is our friend Belushi B, but yeah. he's no. I know, I know who it is. You don't he's have to know who it is, Mato. Very shy. I mean, like, yeah, yeah. All he meant, he didn't mean it in a bad way. No, I know they both said it, but Patrick just repeats things. He doesn't always have content. You know? think, George, George, I actually believe I said it first, and Avery repeated what I said. That's right. Yeah. See, Patrick said it first. You know how Patrick is, right? Yeah, he knows how Patrick is. He's fine now. Avery, Avery I think I know how you can calm the situation down. What's that? And I haven't run this by you at all. Can you do some dang magic for us? Oh, <sighs> I'll do. I'll do some magic. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So, can you, do, you can guys, you do couch magic? Uh, one thing that you guys might not know. I don't know if I could do couch magic. Uh, <laughs> can. Well, then how about how about this? <laughs> that's not what it means. I just think it's so funny how you're like, I don't know about couch magic. <laughs> that's not a I thing. Just a couch, I just see a couch right behind you, and if you're really a yeah. magician, you'd be able to do some couch magic. Like, <laughs> shuffle the, the cushions. Sometimes, sometimes, so sometimes you realize that you're walking into a trap, and then sometimes it feels like it might be a trap, but then there was no trap at the end of it. <laughs> no. I want to do it like this, all right? Patrick's going to be Allison Hannigan. Uh, and uh, Watto's going to be Penn. I'll be Teller. And you have to fool us. Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. Well, you here, with um, that, Yeah, I'm happy to do it. Okay. All right. Let me introduce you, Avery, because I'm Allison Hannigan. Okay, okay. sure. But just, just, you have just, to. Oh, oh, yeah, Avery. Just real quick. Uh, because it's for you, George, uh, I thought if I'm going to do some magic, uh, I'd like to do some strange magic. Did Avery bring his own bumper? Hello. I've got a regular deck of cards. George, tell me when to stop as I'm going through the deck. You forgot that George is Teller. 
George yeah. can't say anything. I'm Penn. Why don't you ask me? Ask the big guy. The what? big dumb guy. The big dumb guy. Wado? Mm. Well, I'm George, I'm gonna keep my eyes closed so I can't see the card is the thing. So I <laughs> okay, you he'll, clap. Clap. Okay. he'll clap. He'll clap. Okay. Okay, great. Right there. I got my eyes closed. Look at the card. Can you see it? Clap if you can see it. Okay, I'm putting it back in the deck. I'm gonna shuffle it up. Okay. Under my hat, a lemon. Now watch. My hands are empty. Oh, I don't want to cut myself. This feels dangerous. Look in here. No. There's a piece of paper. It's got a lot of lemon juice on it. Kind of more than I'm, I expected. It's kind of falling apart a little bit, actually. <laughs> Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. Just hang on. It's a delicate dark. It's a picture of Peter Gallagher, <laughs> Sandy Cohen from the OC. So that's, that's pretty strange. Avery, get the fuck out of my house. That's pretty strange magic. Okay, okay, Avery, 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 Avery. Oh, don't call it that. I have another Avery. trick. I have another trick. Oh, another, another tr two bites at the apple. Okay. The lemon. It's a, it's a line from Four Loves. <laughs> the cut and restored rope trick. Mm hmm. One rope. We bring up the middle. Give it a snip. The magic bag. It's empty. What? It's empty. The pieces go in the magic bag. Little magic dust. Now, not only is the rope back in one piece, 
but tied on the end, there's a multivitamin. <laughs> so. Also, no, wait. Also, in the bag, <laughs> another picture of Peter Gallagher. <laughs> You son of a bitch. And one more one more Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> and the and also you should know that all of these Gallagher's are ice cold to the touch. <laughs> and the, here's another Gallagher, but this one on the bottom says October 2nd question mark. And I and we don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> So that's, that's pretty strange. Okay, uh, one, just one more quick trick. Just one more quick trick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One more quick, oh, I got a fooler. I got a fooler. Okay, one more quick hold trick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, okay. This is the, this is the genie, the, uh, the genie's palace. Whoops. I unplugged the light. <laughs> the genie's palace. Some have said the square and the circle are ancient geometries, sacred when put together. This is empty. And this is empty. But when put together, screen, screener for Queen's Gambit. <laughs> Laura Bar. What flavor? What flavor? Apple pie. Oh, it's Ooh. A good one. One more Queen's Gambit and the crown. Sort of a tube. Mm. <laughs> kind of a, I don't know what, it's, sort of a tube. Uh -huh. A little bit more rope. Uh -huh. A couple more loose vitamins. <laughs> and wait a second, wait a second. Piece of a piece of paper that says bit.ly oh, no. slash oh, no. Lucas Magic. Oh, no. What does it lead to? Let's find out. Here we go. Oh, Here we go. <laughs> yeah, really go. Oh, yeah. my God. What does it lead to? <laughs> oh, my oh. God. <laughs> So that's pretty strange, right? That's very strange. strange. Give me that bumper, Patrick. Okay, Patrick, uh, uh, George and I need to confer, compare notes for a second. We're yeah. going to go around the corner. You have sure. to interview Avery. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Wado, I'm, I'm going to uh, drop the teller act for going back in just because I, I feel like uh, I feel like I know how we did the, how we did it. Okay, you know but I don't think I know how he did it, but I don't want to drop the pen act. So okay. can I do an impression of pen on Fool Us, and then I'll let you try to actually bust him. All right, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's good. The one that I really wanted to talk to you about is uh, you're, uh, um, you're looking up, and then you pull the ceiling fan off, and you're yeah. in the ceiling. How, yeah. What what was the deal with that one? I oh they're back. Hey guys. Oh, oh well, I guess we'll talk about it later. Yeah. Okay. Avery. Yeah. First of all, we love you. Uh, great, great, great act. Just just clean <laughs> and classy. Uh, you didn't waste any time on patter. It was uh beautiful. 
Beautiful. Um, that having been said, got a couple questions. Okay. Uh, one, could we look at that lemon? <laughs> you can we, look we, at we, the lemon. We, okay, that tells me. I don't need to look at it. That tells me everything I need to know. Okay. okay. Uh, next question. Uh, I'm going to try to put this in code because I don't want to bust you for the public. Avery, were you, uh, were you, uh, I know you are a UCB vet. Were you ever on a, a Herald team? <laughs> uh, no, I was, I was on a mod team, but I was not. You're on, on mod. A, You're yeah. on a mod. You're on a mod team. Mod. How long? Uh, about, I guess, f like four years in New York and four years in LA. Wow. And did you, um, did you step down of your own volition or did you get cut? I I stepped down. Step down. It's smart because it hurts to get cut, right? No one likes to get cut, right? Yeah. Hurts to get cut. Oftentimes if they say you get cut, it's because you lacked appeal on stage, right? That's a thing they say maybe that people didn't find you appealing enough on stage, but you avoided that. You stepped down of your own volition. That's good. I play uh, upright bebop bass. You know, in, 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 in jazz music, we talk a lot about being in the pocket. You know, do you know what I'm saying? Does that mean anything when I say that? Yeah. Does that mean anything to you? Okay. I think I see what you're saying. Okay, right. And uh, got to say, we're really, we're really uh, kind of just stumped with the, the crown screener. We had a good idea. We thought we understood what you were doing when you showed the Queen's Gambit screeners, but then when it got to the crown, that kind of- Can I, can I talk to a, a producer? Cause I, I, think, I think it might be different than what you think it is. You know what, you know what, how about this? How about this? Um, <laughs> let's, let's have George, uh, cause he's the smart one, okay? Sure. It's easy to fool Watto, but to fool George is the difficult part. So maybe let's have George go and whisper in your ear and tell you, how he thinks he might have drawn a little something or he might tell you a little something from his notebook. <laughs> should they so go, we'll around go around the corner? Around, they should yeah, around go around the corner. Come around the corner, George. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I guess you got me. Yeah. He got me. Let's go back around. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. It's it's easy to fool Otto, but it, that's me. the real trick is fooling George. Yeah. But once again, Avery, we love you. We it was such you. an honor Absolutely. just to perform for you guys. Honestly. Great act, great act. We really we loved it. We Thank you so it. much. And, and we'll be seeing a lot of you. We'll be seeing a lot Thank of you. you. I can guarantee you that. Wow. Now, uh, can I talk about libertarianism quickly? <laughs> But in all seriousness, uh, Avery, boy, we just, we loved your act. <laughs> boy, it was just, you're funny. And uh, boy, it was just, your whole energy is just so, boy, we just, we just loved it. Oh, can, boy. can you tell that Watto has watched every episode of Fool Us in the last two months? Yeah. I mean, it's, how could it's you always, not the best? Yeah. It's such a great show. And it's, the maybe once you tire of the magic, it's still fun watching them have to say nice things when they when they know how the trick is work. It's just like yes. boy, it's just so funny. Yeah, just, so, good. Yeah. so strong. Like you yeah, can just, tell when they leave. Just clean, like, boy, just classy. Love. It's so funny. Just really, just great. <laughs> so you didn't fool us. Uh, and then yep, there's a lot of Alice always like, has like, to say with you didn't fool them, but off. you did make yeah. them laugh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. There's always, there's the silver lining. So, you know, I think you got a good idea that you probably didn't fool us. But the good news is you got a backup career selling lemons. <laughs> <sighs> Avery, do you think you'll ever go on fool us? You should go on the fool us. Uh, I don't imagine that I will. I, I was a teenage magician. I did do birthday party. I mean, this stuff is is from uh, when I was when I did magic shows as a child for younger children, uh, and there was always 
there was always like the older sister or the older brother who was in my grade, who was just sitting like in the back of the room, looking at me like, what are you doing? You know, real, uh, why are you yeah. doing this? You know? Yeah. yeah. Because the thing about magic is, is like the subtext behind all of it is uh, like, I, um, I didn't know how to make friends and I, and I, so I spent a lot of time by myself practicing this, you know, yeah. Yeah. I was hoping that if you like this, you might get tricked and like me. Was there anyone, you, was there anyone who liked you more after seeing the magic? Maybe my wife. Well, what? that's what I was going to oh, ask. At what real, point? We got a real bore out here. At <laughs> what point in the courtship did your wife? see the magic uh i mean this is it it's an embarrassing it's an embarrassing thing to say but i will tell you the truth which is that i did not do magic on the first date but i did juggle knives on the first date <laughs> because that's another thing in my skill set yeah pen would like that because he's a carny yeah he likes that too he uh, carny trash <laughs> I think you should go. I think you should do a trick with that sofa. You should develop a, a magic trick with that gray sofa, where you so shuffle nice. up, shuffle up the cushions, and uh... yeah, I mean that's like bits aside. That's the only note I have on your act, Avery. Is I do feel like pretty much all of those <laughs> tricks could have been done on your sofa. All right, George. Here's what I want you to do. Gotcha. I know you can't. Just clap. I'm going to go through this. I'll go ahead and talk now. I'll talk. I'll talk. I'll no, just... he'll, he'll talk. talk. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. I got to get the other one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You've already earned five boys from Penn at this point. Boy, I just love the... Boy, yeah. boy, boy. Boy, 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 boy. <laughs> So genuinely be one of the all-time great acts on Fula. No mat, no magic, just just the shit. Hang on. Just one second. How does he do that? Wow. <laughs> Avery, can you lie down on the sofa and reset it to look like a sofa and pretend like oh, nobody's in there? Yeah, that'll be fun. That's a fun trick. Oh, I, I stepped on the lemon. <laughs> you stepped on the lemon? <laughs> Hang on. Well, um, this is great. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call my wife in here. Mm-hmm. And, and see... Let's see if mm -hmm. I can. I guess mm -hmm. I'll be. Do you want to put something in front of the screen so she doesn't know that she's on, or does she know? She oh she knows. Oh okay okay. Right. This is a positive prank show, Patrick. This is going to be a pot. This is going to be the episode one of the the irascible pranksters. Prank pranksters. The irascible prankster. Okay. Does it look? Does it look regular? You no, know, you, you gotta, gotta get, get the, the other one. The back, you cushion. get the other two. The back cushions. This is the best part: is watching you assemble it from within. <laughs> oh, you gotta throw it. <laughs> Listen, I will. I always try hard at everything I do. <laughs> Hey, Avery, when we eventually book Dan Aykroyd on the show, will you do the couch trick for him? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, now roll under more so she doesn't see you. More. Okay. That's a perfect couch. Now call her. Call her. Does it look good? Looks yeah. good. No, Looks you gotta good. Boot, boot, the thumb ruins it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't do the thumbs up. Hey, Aaron. Shh, let's all be quiet. Aaron? 
Will you come look in here for just a second? Oh my God. Surprise, I was in the couch. <laughs> It worked. So, <laughs> you know what? My only note would be, got it, guys. It's you great. Got it. My only note: when you do that act on fool us, mm -hmm. get like a large, like the kind of a large like spotlight, like the kind that we use to illuminate like a, a factory. <laughs> Yeah. Several <laughs> large spotlights. Mm -hmm. I think the magic part of that is great. <laughs> All you need is the industrial light. Mm. Uh, uh, I, I got some I got some, uh, candy sweats, I think. <laughs> I, I have eaten a lot of this bag, and I'm starting to sweat a lot. Uh, hey, Avery, it, see this? Yeah. It's like just an ordinary R2-D2, right? Yeah. There's a bear inside it. A Star Wars bear. Hell yeah. Where'd it go? Get that bumper again, Patrick. Come on. Oh! Now there's no R2. Where'd that go? <laughs> Wait a second. Where's Watto? Oh no! Ah! Where's George? Oh god, I keep scrolling away from it. Whoa! <laughs> There's Avery! And look, Grogu got little and Avery turned into a dog! Whoa! What is that? Oh, it's rotten. Oh, Ronnie. it's rotten, oh, Ronnie. Get so... him out of here. Uh, Avery, this is a normal R two D two, right? Yeah, sure. Oh, look at the R two. He's so normal, right? But wait a second. There's a little Leia hiding <laughs> inside. <laughs> Avery, yeah, you like the Mandalorian. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> They're secret lollies. <laughs> Wait, the twist in the Mandalorian is that both of them were lollies the whole time? They were... Oh, no. Oh, wow. Waddle got himself in a bad trip. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's see if he gets it out by the time the bumper's done. Yeah, no, it's Whoa! Not yeah, don't. No, they're just tricks. It's nothing to be frightened of. No, they're just, it's a, th it's a skill. It's not actual. You, ha you have to understand, Avery. Belushi be scared of magic. <laughs> he grew up with a healthy fear of the supernatural. Yeah, it's fine. I should. Oh, hey, George. Hey, okay, George. Yeah. Shut your window, um, George. Can I? <laughs> what? Can I Shut ask you something, George? Shut my window. There's no. There's no noise coming from my window. I think that's Most Watto's your window, window, Patrick. I think it's Watto's, Watto's window. Watto's window. Wait, uh, Patrick. Open your apology. <laughs> Maybe open that apology. Maybe Patrick. open that apology for for that <laughs> shut your window, George. Like it's all oh, sure it's the old man in the window. I uh, I I like the ones that you guys already mentioned, but also the the say no to cyberbullying banana. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Bracing, get in here. Yeah, what? You brought this up earlier, but now it's time to talk about it. Super secret, secret club. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Avery, yeah. very, very early on in the pandemic, when very. people were were stifled, <laughs> they were they were aimless, they were confused, they didn't know what to do. You produced five episodes of six the children's episodes. six. Were all six posted? Yeah, six ten minute episodes. Wow. Good news, Tawato's, Tawato's got another one. That's good. To Wado's point, just, yeah. To Wado's point, like SNL was being filmed on mobile phones. Yes. And so, like, early quarantine, the production quality of Super Secret Secret Club, even, you know, in normal days would blow me out of the water. But especially yes. the fact that nobody else at the time was making anything of that caliber. It was so refreshing. And Avery, did, just to put this in perspective. Yeah. Oh, wait, maybe you're right. Maybe it is only five. No, no, no. Here's the thing. I went to the Super Secret Secret Club website. Only five were listed. And then now I'm on the YouTube page and there are six. You oh. need to update the main site. Yeah, That's yeah, why yeah, I got yeah. confused. So Avery, just, Avery, yeah, I just want to put into perspective what Bryson just said to you. All right. Bryson loves nothing more than to be in the water. He loves it. He, he's a fishy. He was swimming the water all day. He's a water baby. He, to blow him out of the water requires not only a tremendous force, mm. but a remarkable amount of talent. We've never done anything that blew Bryson out of the water. We've done over 300 hours of a yeah. uh, show in the past year. He's remained, make it clear. he's remained in the water the whole time. Entire time. For every one of those hours, blowing him out of it was our explicit goal. And then that front, yeah. we have failed. If anything, I would argue we've sucked him further into the water. He's in the trenches now. You all usually do your best to try to drown me every week. Mm -hmm. I think it sounds you, nicer that we sucked you into the water. Yeah, I thought and Avery has just blown you out of the water than that we yeah. tried to drown you, Bryson. Right. We're not trying to drown. We're trying to suck and blow. Avery, the, these shout we out. did these. A shout out to our boy Mel. <laughs> Mel, you're crazy for that one. You're crazy for that joke. <laughs> uh, Avery. Avery, you did these eleven months ago. That's right. right. It's just it, as as Bryson said, like Saturday Night Live returning to the air was one of the first things that even attempted to go back into production during this. You were out there at the same time. You were doing the entire thing from your garage. That's it right. has puppets. It has animation. It has right. visual effects. It has original songs that you wrote. That's right. And then, and then, what's this? John Krasinski comes in, he sits behind a desk. He says, look at my famous fans. And mm. people go, how did he do this? How? How is it possible that this man sat behind his nice furniture, <laughs> called in some favors, and did this during the pandemic, take all the millions of dollars? And there you were. You weren't trying to get a deal. Yeah. You were trying to find an outlet for your creative energy. And also, you explicitly said this every time you posted an episode. You felt bad for friends of yours who had kids at home and didn't know what to do with them. Yeah, making it for the kids. And John Krasinski comes in. I'm over here making all these shows. He comes in and he, he does one of these right to the camera. Oh, geez. Hang on, Avery. Yeah. I feel like we didn't get that because it was probably too small for people to pick up on it. Can oh, we, sure. uh, very do you tough. mind? The frame room. Can we get that clean? Okay, so just to be clear, I'm just, I'm just doing Krasinski's yeah. look to the camera while I'm over here doing Super Secret Secret Club. A classic gym take. Right. <laughs> so that's it. Thanks. That's good. Which Patrick was so quick with a little Richie's bumper. And, <laughs> yeah. George, grab Patrick. something. Grab something, George. No, I don't just do random Richie's. This isn't random Richie's. This is little Richie's. I'm not just going to do a Richie round because you demand it. Doesn't count for you, Bryson. Yeah, you can't just ask someone to out of nowhere to do a little Richie.
I wish that Krasinski had spent a little bit more time uh, preparing for a Ted Lasso SNL sketch. Oh boy, God. enough of this. <laughs> a little less time uh, selling good news. Okay, Avery. All right, George. Well, Bryson, thank you for making those bumpers. We appreciate it. Thanks, Bryson. Thank you, Bryson. Bye bye, Bryson. George is convinced that John Krasinski and Jason Sudeikis look so similar that it was <laughs> odd that they did not address the elephant in the room and have Krasinski do a Ted Lasso sketch when he was on SNL. He wow. thinks it, why would you, how could you miss that opportunity? I think if you watch the Krasinski SNL, my argument is there is no sketch in that episode that couldn't have been bumped for a Ted Lasso sketch. And if not now, when? Who who better? Who better? Sudeikis. Honestly, Sudeikis. it bugs me. Oh, that's, that's a little reachy. That's a reachy. That's a reachy. You're right. If you, I never like it, if you don't like it, if you don't like it, you know what? Just shoot me. I didn't know what to expect, really. I just, I never see him grab the thing. It's incredible. Oh, wow. More mouse tail. Well, you would know. After that book, you would know. Yeah. That's right. I do want to say Bryson keeps reminding us we have some new merch that we should plug. Oh, well, yeah. Let's plug the merch. Um, Speaking of topical. Stickers really satisfy you. We now have we stickers. Have, including uh, a bumper factory bumper sticker. And yes. and I guess, I guess people just don't like Patrick very much. Okay. Now we need to talk about this. Apparently, it's the worst-selling shirt in the history of fabric. <laughs> I mean, Jersey Dave has thanked us because apparently it had a sort of crescent effect and has now made the sales of the Can I Make It Boss or shirt from the TCGS days look robust. Now, mm -hmm. Watto was very adamant in the group text that this shirt would sell. That mm -hmm. it was not only a good idea, but that it had to be fast-tracked. <laughs> and one of the points of, uh, let's say, disagreement. Can we pull the image back up? Yeah, sure. There was a consensus that perhaps the shirt would not sell because of Patrick's facial expression. Yeah, that he that. looked yeah. un unhappy on this shirt, and it would not sell. The alternative was a shirt where Patrick was smiling, uh -huh. but it was a pre-pandemic Patrick. Uh -huh. He was well kept. He was well groomed. Yeah, he did not look like our Pat the Rat. Yeah, what? And I and. There was this disagreement. Would it be better to get this smiling shirt? And I said, no, I really think it's going to sell. I promise you it will sell. Let's do the mean glaring shirt. Well, George, actually, is everything okay? Yeah. No, there's uh, there's someone who wants to buy all of the Patrick shirts if people don't want to buy them. What? Yeah, what? Yeah. I mean, but only if people don't buy enough of them? Uh-huh. Who okay. is it, George? Um... That's my little friend. Oh, no. What is this? Uh, it's my Mickey Mouse knife. It says, uh, what's that? Sorry. <laughs> if people don't buy the Patrick shirt, then little Mickey is going to start buying the Patrick shirts. For <laughs> Avery, Avery, you need to know this guy, the Mickey Mouse knife, is bad. News. This guy is bad. <laughs> news. Avery, when you, time. When you, 
Avery, when you were growing up, did you have kids in a, like in your class or in your grade where your parents were like, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't talk to them. You shouldn't be friends. Oh, this yeah, guy. This, Ron. this yeah, is, this, yeah. Yeah, he, this knife is like the Ron of the George Lucas talk show. He's <laughs> trouble. He murdered several of our friends on camera. <laughs> but he also re had a redemption arc where he uh, chopped off Rotten Ronnie's ear, Reservoir Dog style. And we all agreed that was fine. So he kind of dextered himself a little. Um, yeah. And then he says he really wants to wear uh, Patrick like a shirt. Oh, no. Wait, you want to wear the Patrick shirt? Oh, no. He said, he said, he said, yeah, that's the ticket. Like, just like that? He said it with like a Lovitz intonation? He said, yeah, wear him like a shirt. Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. Did he say anything about Subway, George? Yeah, ask him. Ask him about Subway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's 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 eaten there. <laughs> Avery, I'm going to I'm going to tell you I'm going to tell you a little secret. I talked to George on the phone this week about John Lovitz. And the first thing that I said doing my love its impression was Subway eat fresh. And George seemed to have no memory of it. So I think maybe this was a cultural touchstone that passed George by. Okay. Can, can I just say the Patrick Pat the Rat naps and snack shirt has done nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. I understand these are difficult, confusing times. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But I would hate, I would hate to see them find themselves at the other side of the Mickey Mouse night. I don't think they deserve that. Yeah, Mickey says he only wants the shirt if not enough people buy the shirt this oh, week. Pe people need to buy the shirt. Mm -hmm. And if not enough people buy the shirt, then Mickey says he's going to have a t-shirt party. Whoa. Oh, no. Interesting. Oh, no. Am I allowed to brandish a knife like this on Twitch? <laughs> I mean, you're doing it. But I can't show a clip from the Ewok movie unless it's a TikTok? Uh, uh, Bryson at 11.38, how apropos, much like DHX, did post in the private chat, confirmed only two shirts sold. Hmm. Now, um, guys, we did recently hit a milestone in this show. What's that? Tonight. Wado, do you want to explain? I think George should explain. Well, we used to do very long shows, Avery. Uh, our first show last Star Wars Day was 31 plus hours long. Mm -hmm. And we did some eight hour shows, some 10 hour shows, some 12 hour shows. You know, we did long shows. And at a certain point, I think it was last July, we said, what if we want to do some short little teeny tiny short shows? Mm -hmm. And so we, we devised a format because we're competitive. We like to we like to win here at the George Lucas Talk Show. We like All to crush we do them. is win. Yeah, win, we, like win, no crush, matter what. we like to crush the other shows mm -hmm. like a bug. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We crush all the other shows like a bug. Did you know mm -hmm. that, Avery? I had a feeling, sure, yeah. Yeah, you had a good feeling about that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so we said, you know, a lot of people were saying uh, that Marty Scorsese's uh, Netflix original film, The Irishman, they were like, oh, it's such a long film. Ooh, it's so long. We said, that's not long. We said, you call that a long film? This is a long film. And we... Uh, devised a format called the Irishman Plus where our short little teeny weeny shows are at least one minute longer than Martin Scorsese's The Irishman. And we just achieved it, The Irishman Plus, a few minutes ago. Um, uh, how many people have made the joke about having a CGI Patrick scurry across the frame at the end? That's I funny. Mean, and no one has funny. made the joke yet. Nobody no, said yeah. that? Avery, if, I, you I wanna, say, well, if you want to make it, we'll do it. Yeah. yeah, I will say that that's Patrick thinks that's one of the funniest titles for uh, any movie. He starts <laughs> laughing the second you tell him the departed. He's like, how many? In one movie? 
almost <laughs> every principal everyone, character? Everyone but Wahlberg? Well, I bet Patrick liked my previous book, All My Friends Are Dead. Loved True. it. Loved, Loved it. it. He, he still hasn't stopped laughing. Patrick had one note for Scorsese when he watched The Party. He said, kill Wahlberg. Mistake. <laughs> you oh, all right? No. Made a mistake. The You're dancing candy. <sighs> I made a big mistake. Never, Never do the time. dancing candy. <sighs> Guys, I got a bad feeling about this. Good <laughs> oh, boy. Avery, I don't know why you said that because I don't. I don't know if you know. It's not joke week, Avery. It's not joke week. Bryson, get in here. Bryson? Bryson? Get mad at me. I can't find the joke week bumper, Bryson. What are you what are you what are you doing? Joke week's not until September 2021. Sorry. Oh, there it is. I see it now. Yeah, wow. you're like that was kind of a false flag operation. How many do you eat, David? Also, Patrick doesn't get to do Bryson get in here. Bryson get out of here. Bryson get in here. Bryson get in here. Thank you. I agree. I think Patrick doesn't get to do Bryson get in here. Yeah. Wait, but Patrick is a key holder. Are we taking away his uh, key holder to the Bryson get in here? But I, you, you say that, I still do have the key to this. Bye bye, Bryson. Which I think supersedes the Bryson get in here. It doesn't supersede Super secret, secret mean, clubs. Hey! Dot, dot, dot com? Dot com. Avery. Avery. Is there any chance of super secret secret club returning? Well, I got I got to tell you. So, I stopped making them because I was I was spending like 40 hours a week making them and also it got very hot in my garage in LA when there was no air conditioner. So, I I stopped it for a little while so that I could do some actual work and, and make money and then spiders moved in. And the whole the whole set was covered in many spiders. <laughs> 
So, <laughs> so, um, so I, so I had to hold off for a while, and then, um, and then the set started falling apart. It was all made of cardboard and and hot glue, um, and then just a couple days ago, I threw it all away. Oh wow, wow. that's a sad exclusive. Yeah, it's exclusive, but it's it's the truth. It's a sad exclusive. Super, super yeah. sad spider club. Yeah. Ethan Rudd, oh. very good. Super secret spider club. Well, I you know who you would know, hate that story. Hmm? You who know wanna? who would hate that story? Who's that? Tom DeLonge of Blink-182. Spiders! <laughs> Spiders! <laughs> he hates them. Plenty Spiders! of shows though. <clears throat> Plenty of shows that they get rebooted. They just rebuild the set now. Yeah, that's true. Also, Can I tell you guys something? Also, I've never, yeah. I've never thrown up from too much alcohol, but I mm -hmm. have thrown up twice as an adult from too much candy. Get ready for okay. three, baby. Get ready for three. Can you, wow. you, you're a practical guy. You like practical effects. That's right. But you're not, a, you're not against some digital magic. You like a little digital magic. When you need to add a little car into your show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your big fancy TV show. Then all of a sudden you like a digital car, don't you? Right. <laughs> Have you considered building uh, like a volume in your garage? So you could do digital uh, super like uh, I think because that it sounds like, you know, one thing that spiders uh, famously uh, don't like. Tom DeLonge from Blink-182. Billions of ones and zeros. <laughs> yeah. You know what Tom DeLonge does like? Cyber! <laughs> you know what happened uh, when we were making... Uh, it's a good impression. Well, we were making uh, two and three, uh, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith. Uh, we took a little break in between two and three. And when we uh, got got to it for episode three, you know what we, what we didn't have to throw away? Hmm. All of the sets from Attack of the Clones. <laughs> That's true. Because you know what hadn't gotten into them? Spiders. A bunch of spiders, Avery. I mean, this is the argument when people are like, "Oh, we love the practical effects so much." It's just like, you know what? You're gonna get a mess of spiders in there. <laughs> I re I remember there was this thing after Attack of the Clones where some guy was selling on eBay what he claimed were screen used. Do you remember this, George? Yeah, yeah. Screen used, screen worn. Clone trooper helmets, and then you and Lucasfilm issued an official statement that was like, Haha, jokes on you. We literally never built one of them, wow. not even for design purposes. No physical helmet ever existed. At yeah, any point in time. And, and you'll recall at the very end of that press release, that statement yes. that we released, suck it, sisters. yeah. That's part a big part of the reason why I said we need to get into digital is because you make a movie and honestly spiders are such star fuckers. They just any hint of showbiz and the spiders are there. Oh, are you yeah. done? Like whenever a TV show wraps, you know the spiders are on their way. And now they get to be men too. Yeah. I go to see some of these movies. Some of these movies they make these days, I go to see them and I go, oh, so now the spiders get to be men too. Yeah. And three. Yeah. And there's no, and, and this, and it's not just movies. It's not just movies. It's no. all of the arts because even, even uh, a, an area as niche as poetry is not safe because guess who's coming? The spider verse. The spider verse. Look out, poets. Here come the spider verse. Adam Conover. I do want to point out Conover is back in the chat. Can you invite him back in? Oh. <laughs> he said, guys, I have work. That was his response to people asking him to come I'll back. I'll say this, this. Adam. I hope we're gonna end in let Adam, we're gonna end probably in less than 10 minutes. If you want to hop in for the last 10. Yeah, and if there's any billy goats in the in the chat, look out. Adam we could Conover. have a 
troll we under the bridge. We could have a reunion from the Adam Ruins Everything Halloween episode because Avery and Adam are both in that episode and nobody else. That's true. Nobody they else. anybody in that episode. Yeah. Hey, George. I got work. Um, Here it comes. I don't know if you know this, but I went to high school with your daughter, Amanda. What? The hey, return Adam. of the king. New shirt? A new shirt. Yes, new shirt. New shirt to who this? <laughs> Adam disks is everything. <laughs> yeah, I do. I don't even know. I'm not on anymore. I'm not like, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not like on, you know what I mean? Mm. I'm not, I'm not like, yeah. I haven't switched it on. This is, I'm just mm -hmm. casual right now. I'm Run after filter. hours. I'm, I'm relaxed. I'm in the middle of recording a podcast intro. Oh wait, you're after hours. So you mean you don't want to be part of the after show? You'd rather be part of like what comes after the after show? There's an after yeah. show? We're well, in the after show the after. right now. This, this is, the, is after. the after show. But I, honestly, Adam, yeah. I understand what you're saying. It's tough to ask you to turn it on this late. Maybe we should take things a little easier. Yeah. It Should I howl too? Yeah. guests on and they're just astonished and baffled experiencing the show for the first time is this what the show is hey, yeah. Adam Conover is coming in to the after dark yeah that's exactly what this is this is like you put you're putting comedians on a roller coaster and watching them scream it's, yeah. this is a this is an amusement park ride Lisa had fun right Lisa had a good time which Lisa? Oh, my partner Lisa. Yeah. Was she on this? Friend of the she show, yeah. This. Oh, wow. she didn't tell me she was on. No, maybe she told me and I wow. forgot. Wow. It's a I good sign. That. She didn't seem like she was hiding it from anybody, like a big secret. <laughs> she wasn't like looking around during it, like making sure you didn't come in. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. I can't Avery, I can't uh, Avery, I, I can't talk about for an experience Avery. for me today. Yeah, Pat. Why why are your lights still on, Avery? Oh, I'm sorry. It's after dark, Avery. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Wait, boy, yeah. huge difference. How <laughs> bright is the other light uh, is illuminating that room? Oh, okay, now, yeah, now, now, now we're cooking. Energy. Now we're oh. cooking. Oh, oh maybe oh, just the more. computer can light it. Yeah, I think so. Um, George. Yeah. So I went to high school in San Rafael. Yeah. Uh, in Marin County. Right. Marin County. Where you live. Yeah. You ever, go to the you ever go to the Chili's? <laughs> uh, I don't think I've been, I don't think I've been to the Chili's. You gotta. Um, I go. They do curb if, you're, if that's uh, what you're worried about. Have you been vaccinated yet? I have not been vaccinated. No. Not yet. 
Hey, congrats. Yeah. yeah. George Glad likes to show off. George likes to show off that he took his private jet from Skywalker Ranch in Marin County to all the, the way to the Javits Center, <laughs> got that vax, reboarded the plane, flew back <laughs> cross country. Yeah. Um, but I got, I got two questions for you, George. Gotcha. Yeah. Number one, I went, I, I went to a pretty small private, I got like a scholarship to go to a pretty small private school. And in this, in this private school, uh, all of the seniors yeah. would give a speech. Each, each one of them at, at some assembly, at some point during the year, they would give what, what was called a senior speech. And yeah. uh, Amanda Lucas, I, I believe, was a senior when I was a freshman. You believe and I was very excited for you to come and watch her speech because, mm -hmm. in general, parents would come and watch their kids mm -hmm. do their senior speeches. It was pretty, it was sort of a, an important thing. Yeah. You uh, you didn't show for Amanda's senior speech. Georgia. 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 Pretty fucked up, actually. Pretty fucked up, Georgia. No, that's I. I was there, but I didn't want a bunch of ner Star Wars nerds bugging me, so I showed up in disguise. You fletched it, George. I fletched it. Fletched oh live. my god, George in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> there were, I think, there were two extra syllables in that. <laughs> George, uh, what uh, was uh, the disguise? Uh, that you know, Watto, Watto, you have what we uh, what we call in stand-up comedy a funny accent. And it makes, <laughs> it makes things that you say funny even when they're not jokes. And, you know, I'm jealous of not having of not having a funny accent like that. Yeah, I'm very lucky that this is my speaking voice. <laughs> for comedy, it's for comedy. It's great, you know? Yeah. Stand-up comics resent any comic with an accent. You're like, oh, it's automatically funny in an accent. <laughs> yeah. The Flight of the Concords. Exactly. Flight of the Concords. Mm -hmm. Perfect Avery. example. Avery. Yeah. I want you to think back. Okay. Put yourself back. Do you have a good memory? I imagine you have a really good memory. Uh, okay. You, you, you do? Maybe, yeah, medium good. Sure. Put yourself... Back, close your eyes. Okay. Put yourself back in that room where the senior speech is being delivered. You, I'm not there, so you think, right? Yeah. Look around the room. No, George. Yeah. Open your eyes. Did you see this guy? Oh. Um. Oh my god! Yeah, I guess I guess now that you mention it, and I do have a very good memory. I I was a little bit confused why that man in that in that uh, Baron in that red, what Baron Papanoida? Yeah, Baron Papanoida was there. Yeah, that was me. That's my character from Star Wars. But you'd never expect that we would be the same person. And do you know who that is next to Baron Papanoida? I think. I yeah. think that's her on the end, I want to say. I believe it is her in the headdress. That's Amanda Lucas? In the headdress, I, I believe. Uh, I think that's her on the I, end, I, Wada. Amanda is the one who is now a mixed martial artist, correct? I believe so, yeah. I think she's in the headdress. I'm double-checking. I am double-checking also right now. She's blue, I'll tell you that. I don't need to double check. She's my daughter. <laughs> wow. So I'm sorry I disappointed you that day, Avery, but it wasn't about you. I wasn't there to support you. But uh, I'll tell you I what. Was, I was you're correct. Right. Her character's you're name right, is Tia She has the headdress. Yep, you're right. Always listen to the Watto. Watto is always right. I'll tell you what, though, Avery. Remember what you gave your senior speech about? Yeah, sure. Tell him. You want to hear what my senior speech was? No, I want you yeah. to tell them. 
George wants you to tell us so that he can prove that he heard it. <laughs> well, okay, so I was giving a speech and uh, I, I set up this thing, this video in the background and then uh, a second me popped into the video and then we started having like a little fight and then I jump, I stepped behind the video screen and then we had like a sort of a martial arts thing and then popped out the other side and the whole time Baron Pompanoida was there. But <laughs> I don't understand why you're bringing it up. Look what I wrote down two minutes ago. Whoa! <laughs> George! 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 Wow. Incredible. George. Wow. Wow. Uh, I, was, I was there to support you as well, Avery, because I had my eye on you. I thought, this is a kid who shows a lot of promise. And, I, and you've continued to impress me. Thank you, George. I like your book. And I like your other books. I like All My Friends Are Dead. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So that's a dinosaur book? Is that uh, influenced by my buddy Steve? I mean, may maybe a little. Probably. Because did, did you ever see Jurassic Park? Yeah, I've seen it. And then you saw Lost World? <laughs> you know, I don't think I've seen Lost World, actually. Did you see three? They talk in three. They talk Didn't now. see three. They it's a numeral Alan. three, but the way you see the numerals on the poster, it's a claw mark. Yeah, from the dinosaur. Mm, 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 mm. Adam, did you see like Monster Park? Energy Drink? Adam, yes, exactly. Did you see Jurassic Park, Adam? Uh, <laughs> what is it like to see George be so nice to Avery? That's a good question. George hates George hates me. I just asked <laughs> no. you if you saw Jurassic Park. I couldn't think of a lovelier question to be asked. <laughs> I saw I saw when I was a child, yeah. Did you enjoy it? It was, yeah, it was pretty good. That's a pretty loose lost movie. world. Pretty loose. I like Wayne movie. Knight. He's good. You like Newman. Yeah, Newman. You like yeah. Newman. Did you say hello to Newman? I read the I read the book of Jurassic Park when I was a kid. Did you like the book? Uh <clears throat> Yeah, I think it was fine. All the opposite characters die. Mm. Yeah. The mm. mathematician dies and the lawyer lives. Hmm. And Newman yeah. lives. Isn't B.D. Wong also like the third lead? In the book? I I just know this story where B.D. Wong is like weirdly high build in that movie. And it's because they cast him. The movie was so fast tracked. They cast him in the part. Then they adapted it and they were like, yeah, we just didn't have this space for 18 scenes with the scientist, but his contract was already in place. So mm. he was paid as if he was like a lead character. Wow. Do you think, about right. Adam, would you like it if they did a real Jurassic Park type park in real life? If they, if they did it right, if they did it in a way that was safe? Hey, your funeral, man. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's my catchphrase. Thank you, everyone, for saying it. Uh, I we should... no, no, I don't. I think that is the premise of Jurassic Park that they did it in real life and they made it safe <laughs> and things didn't go well. Right, but if they if for real this time they made it safe. Yeah, like actually for real. Would you like that, or would you advise them not like in, to do that kind of thing? Like in real life, fooled, not in a movie. Fooled me once. Shame Fooler. on, shame on, shame on you. Fooler. Fooled mm -hmm. me twice. <laughs> Fooler. Fooler. I'm not going to get fooled again. What about this, the fifth time? What about five times with a six one in post-production? <laughs> five times with the six. Is that what they're doing now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've lost the thread. <laughs> I, I have... To inform our guests, Wolfman Adam Conover, Wolfman Barry Levinson's Avery Lund. <laughs> we have passed a benchmark. You need to understand that when we started doing this show, we did very long shows. <laughs> 30 hours, 12 hours, 8 hours, long shows. 
we wanted to make the show a little more accessible to the public. We wanted to go mainstream. So we said, let's come up with a tight format. And we landed on a format called The Irishman Plus because people said, oh, Martin Scorsese is The Irishman. It's so long. We said, we'll just be one minute longer than that. And those and, are- and just, if I may, right at the end, Digital Patrick crawls right across the frame. Right across mm-hmm. the frame. Now that's how things were for about 10 months. <laughs> and then something happened. A new movie came out and said, you call that a runtime? A little picture called Zack Snyder's Justice League. Four hours and two minutes long. And I want you guys to know that at four minutes, four hours and four minutes long, we are officially at the Zack Snyder Justice League Plus. Congratulations. Incredible. Thank you. I've been here for the whole thing. <laughs> Avery, I was what, watching. Do you, what do you want to plug, Avery? Let's get those plugs in. Yeah. Because right now, right now, this is the Just Us League. It's just us. It's only us. I'm feeling very bad in my stomach. You're going to have a candy puke. You want to plug your upcoming candy puke? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's. I'm. I'm going to count up these eggs real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, this is great, but industry does tune in for this part of the show. Uh, I ate. <laughs> I ate 15 eggs. Oh no, Avery! Many, Avery that's like funny. I was in, like I was in a chocolatey Cool Hand Luke. Oh. You're not gonna go oh. to sleep. Avery, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm not feeling good. Yeah. Um, I guess people people can uh, check out my my new children's book. Uh, I am the longest dog. If you have a child in your life, uh, or you want to buy a buy a a book for a stranger's child. And you can follow me uh, on on Twitter or Instagram or TikTok, and it's all at Avery Monson, M-O-N-S-E-N. Coincidentally, Avery, uh, you just recited a line of dialogue that was in the original uh, cut of, uh, Irvin Kirshner's original cut of The Empire Strikes Back. That was the last line of dialogue. It was uttered by Princess Leia to her brother. Um, it, it was another one of their improvs they did. I said, this is, people are gonna laugh. Can't have can't end the movie with cool hand, Luke. They're going to be laughing at us, not with us. It's what was the line? Kind George? of laugh. Cool hand, Luke. Cool hand. They said, "Oh, cool hand, Luke." No, no one says that to him in the movie. Yeah, he was cut. Yeah, it was cut. I said, "I'll leave one of your jokes, but not both of them." Thank Pat, you, Big Squiggles. Pat, I see you, you up yet? I see you in the chat, Big Squiggles. Thank you, what George. I should mean? also. I yeah. should also say, if people have been watching and enjoying the show, oh, yeah. uh, they can donate down below. There's a button that says donate uh, planetscum.live. Um, goes to a lot of the people behind the scenes that you do not see on screen right now and us. Uh, we really appreciate it. You know, there's almost 500 of you here right now. Uh, if you throw in a couple bucks, uh, that would be rad. Um, or you can you- buy a Naps and Snacks shirt. Yes. Or yeah. Sure. yeah. And you can buy a bunch of merch. Of like, for those of you who are like, I have a dollar bill here. I don't want to give it to the show. But you could go tweet the word Ewok and follow George Lucas Talk Show on TikTok. Yeah. And then keep your dollar. But if you, wow, you look at that free, merch, you give your dollar to wow, merch. This is, I mean, from a merchandising wizard like George Lucas, I would expect no less. Okay. Yeah. Now, we have, Adam, we got Adam, I have a question. Now. Because you weren't here for this. The shirt of Patrick, it says, Naps and snacks, Pat the rat, eat, sleep, Vlad. How many of those shirts do you think we have sold? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say one dozen. Oh, Adam, you oh, got Adam. one of those numbers, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, you greatly overshot the number of shirts we have sold. <laughs> What two? Oh. Well, two. Watto, Watto, if you check that private chat, we sold one tonight, baby. We sold one tonight. Damn. I'll tell you this though. 
anyone out there who thinks that one more shirt sold is going to save half the rat shirt from Mickey the Knife. It's going to take a lot more than that. What's going on here? Are you doing a magic trick, Avery? Do a magic trick. All right. <laughs> Making another egg disappear. Let's make it an even 16, baby. Oh, no. And may the force be with you. Always. Okay, I got to go again. <laughs>